right so I am super pleased with the actual this is the original one I printed out but look at this a whole T2 I printed out a whole spider-man predator I mean this thing is fabulous all right I want to show you my bamboo labs actually I'm, I have a couple of printer and a router so today we're gonna actually upgrade it to the AMS um, we just got it so let me show you so we're tired of keep filling up filament and filament and doing half as jobs I mean it does some great jobs I mean but I keep running out of filaments like halfway look at I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about these are three filaments I done all right beautiful details great machine so in this case i'm never going to run out of filament just keep adding every row now when you get it they do give you a couple of plastic ones um recommend it not to put cardboard versions but there's a trick you put tape on the edges uh at this time the tape will work even better it's slippery it won't tear the actual cardboard because it spins a lot so that's a trick i just found from somebody that actually posted and read it that we're gonna try it out so I'm gonna set these up right now and make sure they work and test them out so let's go ahead and do that okay, we're gonna remove this uh, you're gonna need Allen wrench of course all right and we're gonna see what size I think the smallest one I have so now I'll hook this up put in a little ziplock bag or something next step is gonna be this part right here very simple all you got to do is make sure that you put in the screws they give you two screws in here of course I'm gonna elevate this one now this one is gonna go in make sure it's clean this one's gonna go in here it's already there it's in there embedded so this is gonna go there we'll put the glass and then we're gonna go to put the other one and then the other one goes in here all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So, put in the glass. All right, glass goes back up. Make sure it goes in there properly. We're gonna uh, see if we can get rid of the filament too. So let's go ahead and do that too. Now this part right here is not that hard. It just connects on this side, right? So to connect on this side, that's pretty much it. Put the pins in here and that's it that's pretty much it now i almost forgot the most critical cable this part right here right so we got that part i almost forgot this that was my mistake very important when you get it make sure you open the silica bags all right because they're taped up and people just leave them with that they're not gonna they're gonna be useless all right so you gotta open them up i remember when you have this kind of um wheel make sure you put in your tape all right we're gonna set up the first one all right and i'm gonna show you how to do it so i put tape all around it if you guys can see it so it won't scratch it too much or break the actual cardboard so let me go ahead and find the entrance you turn it on it says update firmware you say yes and that's gonna update the firmware uh, and then i'm gonna show you how to load up your filament now that we configured the system now we're gonna feed it and this is an auto feed so uh, what you do is you put it in there but you have to push it forward so you could find it and look at that automatically after see that it's doing automatically the whole thing just make sure that you feed it a little bit forward and it's gonna roll you guys can see the rollers already working so just make sure it's rolling right uh, fix the tape if you have to but right now I'm testing it out it's not bad so it's working we're just gonna make sure we have all the tape we'll probably cut some of the tape off too all right now that we have it set up all right we're just gonna close it and make sure you lock these in place all right and I put tape on all of them it's not hitting none of them um, because I checked it make sure that this is not trimming down and if you are just make sure you hit it so lock in place 
and we're pretty much ready to print now so let's go ahead and print something all right so i am super pleased with the actual this is the original one i printed out but look at this a whole t2 i printed out a whole spider-man predator i mean this thing is fabulous just to put it together look at this. the details on it of course i put a lot of gray on it because i bought a package deal where there was a lot so these are stuff that I'm working on still, uh, but so far I'm very pleased. I'm going to show you what the results are, right? As you can see, I just opened it up so you guys can see it. I finished one row already. I started another one. I put another one. So this thing is 24 hours a day printing for me. Doing movie magic, doing setups and so forth. Um, the only thing I did had to open it because the tape was hitting one of them. It did one um, kind of, I, 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 if you guys can see it, I had to go back in there and cut the tape. But after that, I could just close this thing completely. It won't heat, hit, but I just keep it open because it's in a nice secure area where you got plenty of heat in here. It keeps everything warm and moist free. But look at this, working awesome as you can see. And with the tape, it really works with the tape. So if you have any issues, you got plenty of cardboard like I do because you got it cheap. This is a great recommendation to do. And I just show you a taste of what I'm doing. Look at that. I got to feel people. It's doing its job. So very simple, easy to use, easy to set up. Great idea. Whoever brought that up, I appreciate. Thank you very much. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.